everyone, I am JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make pipe cleaner pumpkins. And these are great for the fall because you can make them into charms or you can put faces on them for Halloween. And these also make great earrings and pencil toppers. The supplies you'll need to make these are an orange and a green pipe cleaner, a ruler, scissors, and if you want to add a face onto your pumpkin, the optional supplies that you can use are a Sharpie or a black pipe cleaner, Google Eyes, and a glue gun. If you want to make your pumpkins into earrings, you will need earring hooks. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, we are going to cut all of our pipe cleaners and the orange needs to be seven and a half inches. The green needs to be four and a quarter inches. And if you wanna add a mustache or a smile using a black pipe cleaner, it will need to be one inch. So please cut your pipe cleaners. We are going to need to form a circle with our orange pipe cleaner. So we're gonna start by folding it in about a half an inch. So you can hold it and then fold it. And now we're just going to wrap it around and go around the circle. Do not wrap it too tight or too loose. As you go, you may see gaps, so all you will need to do is pinch it tighter and close them. Here is the end of our pipe cleaner and we are going to need to tuck it in under our last row. So I like to go from the back and all you need to do is wrap it to the inside of the last row. Now once it's inside our last row, we're going to pinch it up and wrap it around. Now we are going to add the stem on to our pumpkin. And if you want to make your pumpkin into an earring, this is the time to do it. All you have to do is take your earring hook and slide your pipe cleaner through it. Like that. But I am not going to be making mine into earrings, so I'm not gonna put it on. Now we're going to fold this in half. And you're going to find a spot on your pumpkin where you wanna put your stem. And I'm gonna put mine right around here. So I'm going to go through the last row that I just did. And this is all up to you. You can make your stem as long as you want it. So you can turn it around and keep testing it. You can fold it up like this. I'm gonna make mine a little bit shorter. So maybe around here. Now you're going to take the two ends of your pipe cleaner. You're gonna wrap them around tightly once. And then you can use your scissors and cut the rest. You can even curl your stem if you want to. If you want it just to make a pumpkin, you are finished. But now I'm gonna show you how to add a face onto it. I like to add on my eyes first. So all you're gonna have to do is take your glue and make two dots for the eyes and then place them down. If you want, you can leave your pumpkin just like this, but I'm going to be adding on a mustache. Now we're going to take our black pipe cleaner that is one inch, and you can either make a smile or a mustache with it. For a smile, you would just curl it into a U shape, and you can even cut it to make it smaller. But I'm going to be making a mustache for mine, so I'm going to fold this small piece of pipe cleaner in half, and now I'm going to pinch it right in the center and carefully curl up each side. Now we're going to glue it down. So I'm just going to place some glue on the back of it. 
and then you can place it down where you want it and push it down. If you want to make a pencil topper, please cut a green pipe cleaner to 6 inches. Now we're going to take our green pipe cleaner and we're going to place it through this row right next to where our stem is. Just leave a small amount on the other side because all we're going to do is attach it to our stem. So once you have it like this, you're going to wrap it around your stem. Like that. And now what I do is I take the rest of this pipe cleaner and I fold it over to the back. Now we're going to wrap this around the stem one time. So now it's very secure and we're going to start wrapping it around our pencil. Now we're going to wrap our pipe cleaner around our pencil and please start at this end which is farthest away from our pumpkin and just begin wrapping. Once you can't wrap it anymore, you can slide it up and adjust your pumpkin. Now you are finished. This is what they look like when they're done and on. And these are super fun and easy to make. They are also great for fall and Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is craplifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. Please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching.